Well in 2004 we integrated ticketing in South East Queensland, so we have introduced a paper ticket that allowed you to travel across all the three modes in South East Queensland, so bus, train and ferry and the second stage of integrated ticketing is the introduction of a smart card, and the smart card will enable people to store value so to put value on the card, and then to use the card for traveling around the system. There are few studies on research training programs within the realm of Asian American health disparities. The existing literature on training programs tends to emphasize broad components such as mentorship and an examination of the community and academic partnership. Moreover, the current available literature pertains mostly to clinical practitioners such as nurses and doctors in residency rather than researchers. Few articles employed quantitative evaluation methods, because most of these evaluations were limited to a low number of participants. Here, at last, was a base from which this largest ocean in the world could be further explored. Many questions were still unanswered. How large was the ocean, and how many undiscovered lands did it hold? Way out in the ocean, not far from Tahiti, did there lie a mysterious continent? Surely, if it existed, it would be inhabited, perhaps densely inhabited. Early adolescence is considered a tumultuous developmental period due to the psychological, social, and physical changes that adolescents experience as they go through puberty and increase independent living skills. The transition to high school requires them to interact with a new and larger peer group and manage greater academic expectations. For students enrolled in rigorous academic programs, such as the International Baccalaureate High School Diploma Program, 
The amount of stress perceived during adolescence may be even greater compared to that of students enrolled in general education programs. Henriksen presented another system to extract suburban roofs from aerial images by combining two-dimensional edge information together with photometric and chromatic attributes. Edges are extracted in the images and aggregated to form coherent contour line segments. For each contour, attributes are computed based on the luminance color, proximity, and orientation, and saved for the next step. Contour segments then are matched using their attributes segments in three dimension are grouped and merged according to an initial set of plain hypotheses. Almost everyone has heard of the London Stock Exchange, but relatively few know anything about the London Metal and Commodity Exchanges, yet these markets have a greater influence on world economies because they set global prices for some of the essential raw materials for industry and food manufacture. The LME provides three basic services to the world's non-ferrous metal trade. First, it is a market where large or small quantities of metal of a guaranteed minimum standard can be bought and sold on specific trading days. Second, it acts as a barometer of world metal prices. And third, it is a hedging medium, that is, it can help traders get some protection from price fluctuations that occur for economic, political or financial reasons. When the Tottenham riots broke out a politician commented, this is criminality, pure and simple. To paraphrase Oscar Wilde, the riots were not very pure and the causes were not simple. It was clear, though, that social deprivation was among the causes. The Guardian newspaper reported that of 1,000 rioters going through the courts fewer than 9% had a job or were in training.
I'd recommend that you all try to get hold of English in the Southern Hemisphere by Nolan and Watts, as this provides an excellent overview of the topics that we're going to be covering in this module. It's really our primary text. It has particularly strong sections on the history of English in Australia and New Zealand, examining in some depth how the language has developed in these countries. The sections on phonology and on vocabulary will be invaluable when you're doing the written assignment, which I'm going to be telling you about in a moment once I've given you the details of a couple of other essential references. How to look after all these elderly folks is a different problem. Governments around the world are already struggling to support growing numbers of retired people who depend on a shrinking working population. 18 OECD countries have raised pension ages. At the same time, workers are being asked to dig deeper into their own pockets. None of this is enough. The Czech Republic currently is undergoing a transformation from the centralized regime of a communist dictatorship towards a modern democratic state. Fonda et al. recognizes three main events in the last half century that had profound consequences for the country and its land use. First, the communist coup d'état and the following collectivization of land in the 1950s that introduced large-scale collective farming. Second, the abolition of the totalitarian political system in 1989 which was followed by the restitution of private land ownership in the 1990. The spinal cord, the link between the brain and the body, is a band of nervous tissue about the thickness of your little finger that runs through the backbone. Nerve cells called motor neurons convey electric impulses that travel from the brain to the spinal cord, branching off at the appropriate point and passing to the various parts of the body. Similarly, 
sensory neurons transmit messages from organs and tissues via the spinal cord to the brain. But the spinal cord also functions without the brain having to intervene, it alone controls those actions called spinal reflexes that need to be carried out very fast in response to danger. A recent World Bank research revealed that automation will disrupt the pattern of the traditional economic path, from productive agriculture stage to light manufacturing stage and then to full-scale industrialization stage, and increase job losses in developing countries particularly in India and China and part of Africa. An Egyptian narrative of about 1080 BC, the story of one Amen, provides an insight into the scale of their trading activity. One of the characters is Work It A, a Phoenician merchant living at Danis in Egypt's Nile Delta. As many as 50 ships carry out his business, plying back and forth between the Nile and the Phoenician port of Sidon. The most prosperous period for Phoenicia was the 10th century BC when the surrounding region was stable. As we grow spiritually what intrinsically happens is that the darkness of the five senses, mind and intellect begins to reduce and consequently the soul, i.e. the God, within us begins to illuminate refer to the diagram below. This is also known as the dissolution of the five senses, mind and intellect. We refer to the five senses, mind and intellect as darkness or ignorance as they keep us away from identifying with our true state i.e. the God within us or the soul.
Um, I'm responsible for student admissions to the college and I use a computer system to help process student enrollments and to do the timetabling. But it really doesn't suit the way we work these days. It's over 10 years old and although it was fine when it was first introduced it is just not good enough now. 20 years ago, the college was quite small and we didn't have the number of students and tutors that we have now. There's a lot more data now and it sometimes seems the system has crashed but, in fact, it just takes ages to go from one screen to the next. Another team of ethnographic researchers looked at how cell phones were used in Uganda, in Africa. They found that people who didn't have their own phones could pay to use the phones of local entrepreneurs because these customers paid in advance for their calls, they were eager to know how much time they'd spent on the call so far. So the phone company designed phones for use globally with this added feature. In an effort to send a strong signal to the world and Israeli society that the Palestinians are for peace and appreciate the efforts of statesmen like Shimon Peres, Mr. Mohammed Abbas the Prime Minister of Palestine has decided to attend the funeral of Mr. Shimon Peres. Mr. Shimon Peres was buried at Mount Herzl, Israel's national cemetery according to his own funeral plan in the presence of large numbers of foreign dignitaries and under unprecedented security arrangement. The Battle of the Eureka Stockade, by which the rebellion is popularly known, was fought between miners and the colonial forces of Australia on December 3, 1854 at Eureka Lead and named for the stockade structure erected by miners during the conflict. The rebellion lasted for less than half an hour and resulted in the deaths of at least 27 people, the majority of whom were rebels. The event was the culmination of a period of civil disobedience in the Ballarat region during the Victorian Gold Rush with miners objecting to the expense of a miner's license.
Upper Air Laboratory, Bangalore has upgraded the pilot balloon, PB, observatories at Gangtok, Pune and Ratnagiri into GPS-based radio sounding RS-slash-radio wind, RW, observatories. Previously these PB stations were observing upper air profile of wind direction and wind speed employing optical theodolite manually. After upgradation, these stations were capable of getting upper air profile of temperature, humidity, pressure slash geopotential height, wind direction and wind speed automatically to 35 km height. As with all human behavior, there are numerous reasons for it. But often it's caused by someone who feels the need to show their superiority over someone else, in order to feel that they aren't at the lowest level in hierarchy or a group of people. In some cases, one person simply dislikes the other, on the basis that the personality of one is in some way incompatible with that of the other person.